All right, Bridge Deer here, coming at you with part three of a normal lost phone. Um, yeah, so last time we had quite a um, nasty breakup with uh, our girlfriend Melissa, and I'm saying our like this like the person who's sending these texts are supposed to be uh, the person playing the game. It's not. It's supposed to be the Sam character, so it's not me. It's Sam. Sam broke up with his girlfriend, and it didn't go well, and I'm hoping we could soon start figuring out why this is. So with that, we're just going to jump into it and continue reading some more text messages. Um, since this is a voiceover, I can tell you that the text messages do end. The game isn't solidly just reading text. Um, I believe there's some emails, and I think we're going to be trying to break into this poor person's uh, dating apps by the end of this. So, there's that. Sorry for the spoiler, but not quite. Alright, here we go. Okay, so we have Alice. How many others? Well, we have quite a few others. Oh. New phone, thanks for letting me know. Welcome back to the 21st century. Oh my god, good thing you left early. Big drum went down afterwards. Shit, Lola told you everything? Lola, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's Anne who lost her shit. What's the deal with Lola? Nothing. Something personal about her. I shouldn't- I really shouldn't talk about it. What happened with Anne? Oh, so we get some drama, at least. So last week, she came to me and told me Thomas had a crush on me. He's not really my type, so today I went to say- to him, nothing could happen between us. Oh, that's quite up front of you. Did he take it well? Uh-oh. He didn't take the news badly at all because guess what? He had no idea what I was talking about. He actually confessed that he's been seeing Anne for the last three weeks. Oof. What? Why did Anne tell you he had a crush on you? I talked to her right after. It seems she was convinced I wanted to steal her boyfriend and he was interested and it was her way of testing his loyalty. What a twat. <laughs> I hate lying and con conniving people. To be honest, that sounds like high school and not college, but... No, it's like more like middle school, so it doesn't surprise me. Of course, I hate liars too, but seriously, who does something like this? She's completely out of her mind. Then again, my girlfriend Melissa is almost as jealous, so maybe she'd do something that bad. You have a girlfriend? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I never told you about her. Eh. That's cool, I'm just a bit surprised. I don't know why, I always thought you'd be more into guys. Oh, well, that's up front. I think I like both, I don't know yet, and uh, keep this to yourself. Yeah, I promise. I mean, fair enough. Why weren't you here today? I couldn't, I'm sorry. Will you be coming back in January? I don't know, I'm a bit annoyed with Lola about something. Don't care about Lola, <laughs> I like it when you're there. Come play with me. Ah, uh, thanks, but I don't think I'm, don't think I'll come to play again. We'll keep hanging out together elsewhere, won't we? But who's going to teach me the game rules now? Your instructions are always the best. But okay, I understand, and yes, we'll keep in touch. Promise. So maybe the reason why he isn't in the board game one anymore is because of this Lola. I mean, I can only assume. Here, as an apology, a pick from the latest Tano show? I know you're a fan. Cute. What? You've been in, ton in a Tano show? Now I'm jealous. So he doesn't just play the harp if that's a picture of him. And there's Merry Christmas, Alice. Happy New Year's, Alice. Hey, how come you're not replying? Alice, why aren't you texting back? Oh, that's a little weird. For best friends, though, I don't know why this is ye Oh, I think it's yellow because he was the last one that replied. I think it's a little weird that, um, they're supposed to be best friends, but they actually have not a lot of texts. Um, so we have a Sebastian. Oh, saw a glimpse of that already, and I don't know if I like it. How are you coming? Are you coming to the Christmas party tomorrow? I'm going with Helen. Hey, Sebastian, sorry for the late reply. I totally forgot. Guess you could tell I didn't go. I spent the day at a book festival instead. So there's a festival again. Hope you had a great time. Yeah, it was okay. Just okay. Sort of. Helen didn't feel well at some point. Oh, lame. I know you guys were looking forward to going together. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, weren't you? 
Yeah, yeah, but things went wrong and she wasn't feeling well. Yep, you said that already, but she was feeling sick, food poisoning? That bitch left in the middle of the party. Oh, what? Sorry, that's not a very nice way to talk about your girlfriend. Can you fucking believe it? She's not my girlfriend. We're just dating on and off, she said. Well, calm down. Do you want to tell me what happened or just shut up? <laughs> Ooh. She's a cock tease. That's what happens. She's been dropping hints for weeks, making comments, getting me fucking horny. Mm. She was saying how special the night was going to be and how much fun we were going to have. And that doesn't seem mean. That doesn't seem to mean anything. Well, what would you expect? After a minute, we were dancing at the party, and she was constantly rubbing her body against me. And she was dressed for sex and almost dry humping. It's hard to imagine Helen in that situation. And then she said she was needed to go to the bathroom. Ooh, that's girl talk for we're jumping out the window. What do you mean it's hard to imagine? That tart was fucking drunk and she had wanted it for weeks. Ew. I went with her and she got all nervous and told me to go and then she left. I fucking had condoms, man. It was going to be fun and we were both into it. Well, obviously she wasn't. What the hell do you mean? You weren't there, so shut up. You know when they want it. I bet you see it in Melissa's eyes, too. They're such good friends. Hey, calm down. Don't involve Melissa in this. You're the one who has the problem. And I think you screwed it up last night with Helen. Ooh. Yeah, I screwed it up, and that's the only thing I screwed, because that slut didn't want to finish what she started. You and your stupid girlfriend can fuck off, too. I bet you don't even screw you. I mean, I bet you don't even screw her, you faggot. Damn. What an asshole. Melissa and Helen spent the whole day whispering behind my back, but wouldn't talk to me. I'm sure you know what they're talking about, Mr. Meddler. Wow, he's a... Mmm. Okay, then. And then here's... Um, Harry from the, the book club. Okay, so... Hey, so are you joining us this weekend? Have you got your parents' permission? Yes, I got parent permission from my mom for a book festival. Oh, I'll call you to chat about details. A book festival? That's a good one. The most important thing is that you can come. Indeed. It was an awesome weekend. That's a bunch. Thanks a bunch for pushing me to come. Glad you could join us. So he wasn't at a book festival. Oh, this is Helen. So here's the other side of the story. Helen, reply as soon as you see this message. Thanks. Hi, Sam. I'm here. Not doing much. Are you okay? Yeah, why? i just been texting with Sebastian, and he told me about the party last Friday. I want to know if you were okay. Don't even mention his name, okay? I don't know what he's told you, and I don't give a shit. Oof. Well, I just wanted to make sure he didn't hurt you or do anything stupid. He seems to be really furious. Oh, he's a nice guy. He is furious. Him? He can die, and you can fuck off. I didn't expect this from you, Sam. Helen, I'm on your side. I'm trying to be supportive. I'm worried about you. That's why I'm messaging you. Sorry, Sam. That bastard made me feel like shit. He was like a gentleman at the beginning of the night, but he became unbearable, and soon as he got drunk, making comments and touching me everywhere and holding me tight while dancing. I was feeling uncomfortable. I didn't want to say anything. It was supposed to be a great night. Oh, I feel so sorry for her. I'm sorry to hear he made you feel like that. Then I had enough, so I, ha so I lied and said I had to go to the bathroom, but I wanted to leave. He said he was going to the toilet too and came with me, but he came into the ladies' toilet and then grabbed my arm and started kissing me and pushing me to one of the stalls. What an ass. That had been a terrible moment. I'm sorry. Thanks, Sam. Fortunately, we heard someone come to the bath, to the restroom, and that made him stop. He was so drunk. He was still... He was drunk, so I was able to push him to one side and escape. I picked up my stuff and left. I don't know if he was caught or what happened behind me. I was scared and just wanted to get away. Were you okay after that? Did you make it home safely? I was a bit drunk, just buzzed, but I came home okay. I felt terrible. I probably triggered that situation. It was my fault after all. Uh-uh. What? No, no, no. Wait. What makes you say that? I came home early and my dad was awake. I was very embarrassed, but he asked what, what the matter was. So I said a guy had been molesting me the whole night and tried to touch me and grope my ass in a corner. And he said, well, I told you that dress was too much and now you're upset. 
You should have been more careful. Uh, yeah, no. Listen, Helen, you are not responsible for what happened and shouldn't feel ashamed, okay? Did you ask anyone else for help? Melissa? No, please don't tell her anything. I don't want to talk about this with anyone else. Please. It's too much. She'll comfort you, I'm sure. Don't be afraid. I think she'll understand and be able to help you even better than I can. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate you listening. Most guys would laugh at me if they knew what happened. I already feel a tiny little bit less afraid after talking to you. I've got to go. Thanks again. You can count on me, but you should really talk to Melissa, too. I'm sure she'll help. Goodbye. Ouch. Yeah, no. I kind of had something similar to that kind of happen to me during a dance, so I completely understand. Ooh, this is a long paragraph. So this is Lulu from the book club. Hey Sam, I asked Harry for your number. I was thinking my parents are a bit anxious about next Saturday. They don't like me going there with people they don't know. Do you think I can tell them to contact your parents so they'll calm down? Like, don't worry, your daughter is safe ha in safe hands with Sam around. I know they'll freak out over nothing. So I don't think so. They don't know where I'm going this weekend. I told my mother I was going to a book festival. Shit, so you lied to your mom? Your situation is even worse than I thought. Oh well. Hope to see you Saturday. I hope. And then we got a little rainbow clover here. So something tells me it definitely is not a book club. Okay, so this is the L Lola person. Hey, could you bring back the game from last week? Can't remember the name. The one with mice. Okay. Your mom's cakes are so good. She's so nice to bake them for us every time. Okay. Oh, thanks. I'll tell her. You truly are a monster. I'm so disgusted that I've discovered your true face today. Don't ever set foot back in the club or I'll have to tell your little secret to everyone. Ow! Yeah, so he did come back because of this person. Jesus Christ. And then we get to the other messages. Okay, so that's all the messages. Whoops. So that just... Okay. Weather... Oh, yeah. Uh, don't have that gallery. So we have some photos. Not sure what that one is. I do like the art in this. It's really nice. So, oh, that's that. 18th. Oh, so he was at the 18th birthday. Oh, he got a um, motorcycle of some kind? Okay, that was the hint from earlier. Oh, is, that's all the photos he has on his phone. I mean, he, he didn't really have it terribly long. We have settings. Okay, yeah, that's the game option menu. We have emails. We don't have Wi-Fi for this. Oh, it's a dating app, so... Oh, I can't get in that because there's no Wi-Fi. Well, is there a way that I can... Whoop. Oh! I get it. So I have to find the zip code. I don't think he ever actually said what the zip code was. Do I actually have to look that up on my own? Okay, yeah, so it's the zip code and I have to look for it on the phone. So yeah, I do have to look it, look it up. So, um, oh wait, um, Jesus Christ, okay, yeah. So it's 29064. I looked just at, at that that last time. Uh, I'm gonna look at one more two nine zero six four. Two oops. Oh two nine zero six four. Enter. Excess. Huh. Oh well, I don't know if you can see it, but I just got an achievement down in the corner down there and called free Wi-Fi. So now we can get into everything else. So let's break into it as emails. All right, it's like we're actually going to end that episode there and leave the um, emails for the next episode. 
So yeah, hopefully you stuck with me this far. We're just gonna go through emails and possibly actually break into that um, uh, app we were looking at earlier in the next episode. So everyone have a nice day, stay safe, stay as healthy as you can, and I will see you in the next episode.